The sudden death of a former Detroit anchor and media executive brought loved ones and colleagues together today to honor her contributions to the city. CW50's Chris Walker shows us how she's being remembered. Karen Hudson Samuel's career in broadcast journalism spanned over four decades in Detroit. After making her name at WGPR TV as an anchor, producer, and news director, the historian and journalist used her vision to create one of the biggest accomplishments of her lifetime. We were talking about the, all the great people who had went through WGPR uh, TV 62, and that we just thought that, hey, this story of this great institution should not die. To preserve the history of the country's first black-owned and operated television station, WGPR, Samuels worked tirelessly to bring the William V. Banks Broadcast Museum to life. When this uh, museum got in the National Register, she was very, very proud. The 68-year-old sudden death leaves the industry reciting her legacy and questioning why she had to go so soon. So in the spirit of caring, I want you to always know that the times may change, but these two words that caring understood had great power and that is thank you and she was just a beautiful person i mean it's such a huge loss for this community i spoke with karen the afternoon that uh, she passed and uh, all we had was a long long list of things she wanted to do, and that list was just getting longer. The Detroit media icon was found dead at her home last Tuesday by her husband just one day after taking the COVID-19 vaccine, but the official cause of her death is still unknown. We suspect it may have just been a stroke, but because of the, uh, the normal side effects of the vaccine, it may have masked that. Hopefully we'll know soon from the uh, autopsy report. A private service for Samuels will be held this Friday and streamed online at 10 a.m. In lieu of flowers, the family is asking for donations to the WGPR-TV Historical Society. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.